Today we're going to do a real quick swap on the Vexus trailer. Uh, I've got some transom straps on here, boat buckles, and I've been having some issues with them hanging up a little bit. And I talked to a friend of mine and he recently put some Fulton F2 transom straps on the back of his boat and he really likes them. This is a brand new product from Fulton. They're stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about rust and corrosion and that type of stuff. This is going to be a really easy swap. We're just going to need a couple of wrenches to take the old uh, transom straps off and then these will bolt up to the same exact hole that the current ones are on. So like I said, real quick, easy job. All right, for the bolt buckles, um, to take those off, we need a couple of 9 16 inch wrenches, one to hold the bolt and one to run the nut off. So it's a lock nut, so you need to, uh, you need to have two wrenches. So we'll go ahead and get that off. Now that I have that loose, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and take the tension off of the buckle. So we'll go ahead and release this and we'll get this hook off of the trailer. Go ahead and remove the bolt all the way. You could probably take the hook off right away off the bolt too. I just did that to keep it kind of stable while I got the nut started. So we'll go ahead and pop that off. That's how simple that is. The bolt buckle uses a smaller bolt than came with the Fulton transom straps. So you can either do one of two things. You can either drill this hole out for the bigger bolt, or you can just reuse the bolt and the nut from the bolt buckle product. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So the first thing we'll do is we'll put a washer on and then we'll put that in. And we're gonna put a washer on the back side again and we'll go ahead and get our nuts started. And then we'll use our 9 16 inch wrenches. Just wanna get it snug to start. Almost to the point where it's gonna rotate. And then what I wanna do is go ahead and release this strap. And I'm gonna hook it to the boat. And then I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna put a little bit of tension on here. The reason that I'm snugging that up a little bit is to get the right angle of the ratchet part of the strap to the boat. So now that that's angle is right, I can go ahead and snug up those bolts. And there's the new strap installed. Go ahead and just test it quick. The first couple of times you do this, they might loosen up a little bit because they don't get them real tight on the on the ratchet from the factory. But once you do it once or twice, it'll get nice and tight. So there you go. That's the Fulton F2 transom strap installed. All right, guys, 15, 20 minutes of your time, a couple of wrenches, and you can swap out your old transom straps with some brand new Fulton F2 transom straps. If you like the channel, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We've got a lot more videos coming. We're gonna do some maintenance on the 150, oil change and lower unit, and we may even put a fuel filter in it. So keep an eye out for that video. And we got lots of other cool videos on the kayak. So just make sure you check all that stuff out. We got a lot more install videos coming in the future and even better, we've got some on the water fishing videos coming as well. So thanks for watching.